Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, wow. It's absolutely freezing outside. It's Christmas Eve. It's, it, yeah. I mean, that's what we do in this country. It's cold outside and we're warm inside. And that's, yeah. that's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. Is my nose red? Nope. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. Because, like, normally, well, as you know, my nose go. You, you're always pointing that out. You're always going, oh. I, nose I, red. I am. I, it's a bit of a, I'm afraid that is a bit of a weakness of mine. You've you got to keep nose. You've got to keep nose. I can't. I try because I, try, I know it's annoying. Um, but, you know, I get all excited. I don't mind. I don't mind it. I, I, I just don't want. I don't want you to do it in front of anyone. That's the only thing. Like sometimes we're out, you know, you know, with like, especially like if I'm with your parents and I'm trying to like put on a good impression and like, I'm always on my best behavior with your mom and dad, as you know. Which, um, which I, you know, I appreciate the effort. Yeah, you are, you're all right. It's, um, yeah, maybe that's just something for you and I, maybe that's, yeah, it's, yeah. Okay, no, I, 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 I take that on board. I, just got, just, you know, I don't know, I just. It's you know, cute, I know. I've got a lovely nose, I just, you know, <laughs> I've got everything, but, you know. Thank you. <laughs> do they like me, do you think? Yeah, of course they do, of course they do. What's not to like? I don't know, I just like, I always get nervous meeting, like, I've only met them, well, three times, because it was your birthday, and then... It was that time in Waitrose that was, you know, it was fine. It was fine. It was embarrassing. Embarrassing. I mean, babe, we were picking up some quite personal items and there they were, right? And then the tro in the trolley, I was like, just hiding the, you know, things with like, I don't know, some innocuous cabbage or something. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> oh, I didn't want them to see, like, you know, that's, I don't know. I, I'm so, I, I just want to make a good impression. Um, I mean, the bir your birthday was lovely. Waitrose is embarrassing. And then it was your dad's birthday, but, you know, I was on my best behaviour. But I didn't really say much. I was shy. I mean, I think that's fine. I am... Um... In the past, people have said that I'm kind of mysterious and aloof. Mm -hmm. But actually, just haven't really known what to say. Mm. So I think it's fine. I think it's, I mean, you're great. And mm. it's just, maybe they just need a chance to warm up to you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think I'm probably just worrying too much. Like, I mean, it's hot, like your moment, like don't take this the wrong way, but your parents are kind of a, like a bit traditional, like formal. And, and like, I remember the first time and I said, oh, and they said, oh, you know, what do you do and everything? And I was like, oh, I'm an artist. And they just went, oh, like, like they kind of, I don't know. I just felt a bit judged. Cause it's like for them it's not maybe that for them it's not like a proper job do you know what i mean and it's not reliable and maybe they i think they just want to look after you and make sure that you're set up and blah 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 but me being an artist is like flaky <laughs> yeah yeah for them it's it there this isn't an excuse but it's a different generation it's a yeah. it's a different thing yeah um and you know my mum, you know, she loves she loves watercolours, but she just, you know, it's not, you know. It's not what I do. <laughs> no, well, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, you know, an artist is, you know, maybe it was the vagueness. Maybe it was the vagueness of artists that they. But it, yeah. Because I mean, that, that covers a multitude of, I was going to say sins there. But, you know. Well, yeah. I mean, one day, I, I don't know, maybe I, one day I'll feel secure enough like and maybe they'll like me so much or whatever that I I'll invite them to one of my performance art in you know exhibitions I mean it's a bit radical what I do like 
I mean, that's how we met anyway. <laughs> I, I love, I love, uh, I love, uh, I love radical uh, feminism. Um, I love um, your um, ease and comfort um, with bodily fluids. Yeah, there was um, a lot of piercing and bodily piercing. I mean, it's a statement. I, I don't have to, I know I don't have to explain my art to you, right? Yeah. But I can't imagine your parents coming to the Bothwell gal Gallery, for example, and I'm like stapled to the wall, semi nude with, you know, piercings. I mean, they're not going to like, they're not, they, I'm wor I worry that they, they're just going to go, ooh, that's, that's not, that's not for my David, you know? Yeah. I mean, I love the fact that you're, sorry, that was, perhaps I shouldn't have laughed then. It doesn't matter. Because I am, I am taking your concern seriously. And don't take this the wrong way, but your art, it, it isn't for everybody. Yeah. And well, that's okay. I don't, I don't make art for everybody. I make it, I make it for me. I make it for like, cause it makes me feel alive. It's how I express myself. It makes me feel alive. So I don't care if like Gary, the train driver doesn't care for my work <laughs> or whoever. I mean, I reckon Gary's quite an open-minded kind of guy actually, but uh, you know. I really liked what you said to me after, you know, when I was in the Bothwell and, and you came to see my uh, my work and it was really sweet. It was really sweet, Dave. You I loved the way you, I don't know, I was quite, I was quite impressed that you understood and that you empathized and that you were moved. What thing? I think you're a, a genius. I, I, I think the way you take emotions and things that aren't normally talked about in society and you, you put them on walls six foot high. Yeah, or, or on my body. <laughs> and then yeah. suspend myself six foot high. <laughs> I mean... You 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 you're very athletic, and yeah. I mean, I I admired that. I I admire it now. I think it's I think the things you do with your body are amazing. Oh, thank you. It's one of the reasons <laughs> we, the reasons we work so well together. <laughs> and, and, and my parents need never know about that. So. <laughs> well, no. Hence why I was so embarrassed when we saw them in Waitrose, right? Because. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm, they're difficult. I accept that they're difficult and they're protective and. Well, you're their only son, blah, 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 prodigal, I don't know. I think, I think, I think, I think prodigal, uh, that's, uh, that's very, that's very generous. No, I'm, I'm, that's, uh, yeah, well, yeah. But they do, do you feel suffocated by them? I did when I lived with them. And, you know, breaking free was, it was hard. And that, I mean, this, this might seem hard to believe, but actually, they're much better now than they used to be. Right. I mean, well, yeah. They used to be really, you know, really, really protective. I don't want that to get, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want the, um, they are, a little protect they are very protective overly protective of you and i think that's why 
I haven't really felt accepted by them. Um, I know it's early days, but like, I just don't think, I, I feel like, I feel like they think that I'm not good enough for you, something. So have they said no. anything? What? Have they said anything? No, it's just microaggressions of the patriarchy, Dave, you know how it is. <laughs> Or uh, whatever, I'm being glib, but it's like, no, I mean, I just, I just don't think that they think I'm good enough for you. That's all. So uh, it presses my buttons a little bit. That's why I try so hard to kind of, you know, <sighs> impress them. Um, you, you do improve me. Um, it's... And I, I really appreciate the effort you're putting in because I know they're not easy, but you know, how could they not adore you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'm their cup of tea. I think they want you to, you know, marry someone called Francine who works at Citibank, you know? Oh, yeah, she knows. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Somebody cool. who's a bit more regular. I'm, I'm not a very, I'm not. Conventional. I'm not conventional. I know, I know that. I, know. I knew that the first time I met you. And well, yeah. I looked up and I saw you and I thought, that is not a conventional person. Not conventional. <laughs> I knew you were impressed by that angle. <laughs> it was like, I feel like my life. My life is never going to be <laughs> the same. I mean, it's like, it's like that night really opened my eyes. And I just, you know, I just thought there's another way of living, you know. Yeah. I don't have to work in a bank. Um, you know, I don't necessarily need to do what you do. And I couldn't even if I wanted to. But I'm just really glad that there are artists like you out there to show people like me that there is a different way to live. I love the I love the way that you're my number one champion like I really appreciate that I really love the way that that I don't know I love that you do that I think you're brilliant <laughs> I always have and I always will oh, thank you what's the best strategy for you know Christmas dinner obviously is coming up, so at their place. Well, I've told them that you're a vegan. Good. How fine. did they take that? What did they say? Um. Well, I pretty much always dated vegetarians before, and that was a big shock. But like. They've kind of got used to that now and then the leap from meat to vegetarian was bigger than from vegetarian to vegan. So. I mean I'm happy to provide like the food for me would that help or is that just me pandering I don't know you see this is what I mean I'm always double guessing what what they what I could do to I don't know my mum's my mum's got it sorted apparently she's got it sorted out. I think uh, I think nut roast was mentioned. Yeah. But it's better than the days when it was omelets. I mean that's I couldn't eat an omelet anyway. <laughs> exactly as a, as a vegan. That would be a terrible choice. I was thinking of like being a vegetarian when you know the only option was an omelet. I mean I happen to like omelets, so that, that but for a vegan, an omelet would be that would be rubbish. Yeah. Yeah. You're not gonna get an omelet, it's gonna be nut roast of some sort. Yeah, okay. I, uh, I, 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 I probably won't stay that long. It's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. Because I know that it's just you, and I, I know you've had a, you say that you have a big deal. It's a big deal, right? Christmas Day, blah, blah, blah. And you spend the whole day and evening normally and but this is the first Christmas obviously that I'm um coming along but 
I, I, I can't handle it for very long. That's very good. You're very understanding. Well, you know, they're my parents and I love them, but they are insufferable. <laughs> and I think little and often, I think that's the way they're going to get used to you, little and often. Okay. And, you know, they know how I feel about you. And they know that's not going to change. Which is? I, I admire you greatly. Oh, my God, Dave, that's such a cop out. I will say it. I promise I will say it. But you need to just. You know, we'll get there. We'll get there. I mean, kind of thinking about New Year's Eve mm. when I meet your parents for the first time. <laughs> I feel worried that you can't say how you feel about me. I will. I will say it. I just find it a hard thing to say. Maybe you should draw it. Maybe I will. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Mm-hmm.